Okay, so this video is dedicated uh, on how we see things, especially images in plain mirrors. So, um, when you have an object such as this, usually we have a light source like the sun from the outside and the light source from that sun hits that object and because of diffused reflection, the light rays are going to be scattered in different direction. And if you happen to be here, one of the light rays could find its way into your retina, be processed by your eye, and then your brain would tell you that you see the object. Okay? It's all about light rays entering your eyes, uh, carrying that information about what the object looks like. So, if you have a mirror then, for example, a plain mirror, so you have a mirror that is flat, right? Let's say this is you, okay? Now, the same thing, uh, you have your eyes here, by the way. Same thing, you have light rays coming from the sun, hitting the top of your head, okay? And then gets reflected towards the mirror. Now, the mirror reflects the light back towards your eyes and enters your eyes. And so, you can see yourself. Right? But how do you see yourself here? In this first scenario, you have the object over here. Light rays from the object enters your eye and your brain now estimates that the object must have come from this distance because it travels this uh, length to be able to enter your eyes. Now, in reflection, however, an interesting ha thing happens because that light ray hits your head, right? goes to the mirror, gets reflected back to your eyes. But your brain is accustomed to seeing light rays, or to, to the fact that light rays travel in a straight path. Okay. So what happens is it your brain is going to interpret that that light ray never was reflected, and it was in a straight trajectory. So your brain would be thinking, wait a minute, I have this light ray here. It came from this side. So therefore, the object from which this light ray came from must be located here. Okay? Again. In the real world, your eyes or your brain is accustomed to the fact that light rays travel in straight lines. So when it sees a signal, your brain would interpret that the object must have come from here. Okay? In reflections in mirrors, when you have a light ray from outside hitting your head, uh, hitting the mirror and gets reflected to your eyes, your brain would still think that that light ray was traveling straight and so it would interpret that this light ray here actually came from this side which is coming from the inside of the mirror okay now obviously we know that that is just an illusion there is actually no person inside the mirror that is just an image that is formed because of how gullible your brain is right so in this case you are able to create an image and this image we call it a virtual image because the light ray there are actually no light rays coming from that side it's just your brain trying to interpret that the light rays must have come straight from the other side of the mirror obviously if you walk towards the mirror and touch the surface of the mirror, 
there is no other side of that mirror. There's no other dimension where your image was. It was just in your brain. So with this, we I give you an introduction of how we are able to see images in mirrors and how we are able to um, sometimes think of your image as another person from the other side of the mirror.